So in this tutorial, we're going to look into changing the render material of a landscape and still use it with AJX Dynamics for Unreal Terrain. So we want to get displacements when we, for example, dig into the terrain with the shovel or when we drive with a heavy vehicle onto the terrain. Um, so let's imagine now that I have set up this very simple scenario. So we have a, a very primitive shovel, <laughs> only for demonstration purposes here. And when we dig with this shovel, we see that we do get some deformation in this pile. By the way, the render material that we see here on screen is actually included in AJX Dynamics for Unreal. It is free to use, so please use it. Uh, it can be a good starting point if you want to create something yourself, or it can be used as a good uh, learning material to really understand how this is all set up. It also features darkening uh, wherever you have negative displacements. So you will basically uh, be able to see track marks more easily if you're driving along with a heavy vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, but if I were to change this render material, or landscape material, to any other material, here I have prepared just a very simple uh, material. There is some Unreal bug, I don't know why, but I have to toggle this use mm -hmm. dynamic material property like that to to get the updated view here in the viewport. So now if I press play with my, my new material, we will basically see two issues here. So the most obvious one is that we do not get any displacements anymore. And the second issue is that the particles are, they have the wrong color. So we will address both of those issues in this tutorial. To make this material deformable, there is a handy little tool that we can use. So I will open up this material editor and here in the material graph of this material, I can call the make deformable function. This, this is a material function that is included in AGX Dynamics for Unreal. So if you have installed the plugin and you have activated for your project, then you will find this make deformable material function. And how this works it, is that it has the input of type material attributes and then it does its thing and it outputs uh, material attributes again. So we want to connect our material attributes into this. And one way we can do this is using the make material attributes node. So I can hold down the control key and just drag this normal to normal. And now we see that the result node of this material is free. And I can just drag this in. Uh, and just to, to quickly mention how this works is that this material function will read height displacement from a render target, basically a texture that is written to from the terrain actor. It gets those height displacements and then does some calculations to add changes to the normal and also the world position offset. So coming back here, now I want to hook this up to my result node. I can do this in two ways. Either I can use the break materials attributes and connect these one to one like so, or a quicker way is to select the result node and then select the use material attributes option here. This will collapse so that it, it has only a single pin and I can connect to it like so. Press apply. Now, if we press play, we can see that we get that deformation in the render material that we want. Uh, one thing that I want to mention here, we saw coming back here to the make deformable, we saw that this displacement map is set here. In this case, it points to the landscape displacement map texture that's included in the AJX Dynamics for Unreal plugin. And this texture is also known by the terrain actor. This is the same asset. So that is how that works. That's how the information gets from the AJX terrain actor and uh, up to our materials. So if you're an advanced user and you want to be able, for example, to use multiple terrains, then you would need to have one 
a texture asset for your displacement map, uh, one for each terrain actor. And in that case, we cannot use this make deformable function as is because it has that hard coded uh, reference to the texture asset. So instead, we would use this make deformable uh, custom displacement map, which is exactly the same thing. But this time we can also, so we can hook this up, but we can also input our own displacement map. So here we would do texture object. And then here I can select whatever displacement map texture I am using right now. This is completely equivalent since I, I selected the same uh, asset on disk. So I could hook this up instead and that would work just, just the same. So I can actually delete this now just for demonstration purposes. We can press play and we see that the deformations are working. So the second issue that we, we mentioned was that the particles have the wrong color. So let's fix that. So coming here to the terrain actor, we see that it has a reference to a particle system on disk. This is also located in the uh, AJX Dynamics for Unreal plugin. So what we would like to do is we would like to open this, go to Mesh Renderer, and under Override Material, change this to something else. But here we actually want to be a bit careful because this particle system is inside the installation of AJX Dynamics for Unreal. So it will affect all projects using the plugin if the plugin is installed as an engine plugin. So we actually do not, do not want to make this change here, but instead we can duplicate this asset and I'm going to call this custom. I actually duplicated the actor on, that was not on purpose. So I've created the copy basically, and now I can move this to my own uh, contents folder coming back to the terrain actor I can select select that custom particle system we can open this and here I'm gonna change this texture but what asset should we set here well we can go back to our render material we can see that we have a texture sample it uses the metal rust so we can go back here and select the metal rust. I'm gonna hit compile and save. And now when we press play, we will get the displacement and we will also get particles with the correct coloring. So that was all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you want more information about setting up terrains or shovels or anything like that, uh, please look into our user manual. Also, there will be some tutorials about terrains and how to set up terrains added in the future. So keep a lookout for those. Thank you for watching.